Okay, so in today's video, we're going to continue building on the foundations for market structures. And if you watched the previous videos in this unit, you'll know that we spend quite some time talking about costs. And now I want us to start talking about these other two terms, profit and revenue, in our equation. And I want us to first take a look at revenue. So total revenue, as I assume many of you already know, is just the price multiplied by the number of goods sold. Then what would our average revenue be? Well, average should be the total value divided by quantity, so it becomes total revenue divided by quantity. And if we were to swap out the total revenue for the equation we had above, we get price times quantity divided by quantity, and turns out your average revenue is no different to your price. And we also have marginal revenue, which remember that marginal is just like the phrase per additional unit, which means it just refers to how much more revenue did the next unit sold bring in. If we were to calculate it, we would do change in revenue divided by change in quantity. So if your revenue was $50 selling eight goods, and when you sell your ninth good, and get a total revenue of $60, your marginal revenue for that ninth good would be $10. And now that we touched on average revenue, which was equal to price, and marginal revenue, which was just revenue per additional unit, I want us to try and plot these out as a curve. And this time, I want to have my axes as price and quantity of good, and let's think about how we would plot out average revenue, which was just equal to price. And one way to understand the shape is that at higher prices here, you typically sell fewer quantity of goods. And if you have a high price and low quantity of goods, you would have a high average. Versus if you had a lower price, you typically sell a greater number of goods, and you also end up with a lower average revenue because the amount of revenue brought in by each good is less because it is at a lower price. And essentially, if you were to think through this at each price and quantity, we get this downward sloping curve, which is our AR curve, which looks exactly the same as our demand curve. And in fact, they are kind of equal because if you look at the demand curve for an individual firm, it would reflect its average revenue. So now that we have plotted our AR curve, our MR, marginal revenue curve, will be pretty easy to plot out. Because as we explained in the video about costs, marginal values are that which in a sense pull the average in a direction. In this case, our average is decreasing. So this marginal revenue should be lower than the average at all points to be able to pull the average down. You can kind of think about it as having to decrease twice as fast to pull the average down by the amount it is decreasing. And typically when we draw these diagrams, you can show the marginal revenue as having twice as steep a slope as the AR curve. If this idea of marginal revenue pulling the average revenue is a bit confusing, you might want to check out the cost video because I do explain it more extensively there about marginal pulling the average. So that is the end of this video on revenues, where we touched on total, average, and marginal revenue, what they are, and how the AR and MR curve would look when plotted out. In the next video, we're going to be bringing our cost curves and revenue curves together.